The very, very common problem, if you've ever been up in an airplane and your ears pop, that's the eustachian tube that's opening. Some people have problems with that eustachian tube and it goes, makes funny little noises, squishing noises. Now, the eustachian tube is a tube that goes from the middle ear into the nose. So if the nose swells, it can block that tube and it can stay blocked. Now, normally this eustachian tube equalizes the pressure from the outside. If it doesn't, if that eustachian tube stays blocked and you cannot open it, then if you get in low pressure on the outside, it tries to lower the pressure in the middle ear and it squeezes in. If the pressure gets high, the pressure inside the ear begins to push out. Both can produce pain. They can make a feeling of your hand is over your ear like you can't hear, but you can hear. What causes that? Well, frequently it's change in elevation. We talked about that. But anything that causes the nose to swell, polyps in the nose, trauma to the nose, uh, allergies in the nose, infection in the nose, uh, people that get a common cold frequently have blocked eustachian tube. Uh, what can you do about that? Well, there's some simple measures for that. Uh, basically, it's to decongest the nose. If you decongest the nose, it will allow that to be opened. So you have to use decongestants. We'd be careful. Those can raise the blood pressure. They can make you where you can't go to sleep. So it may be if you've got a common cold three days only, use a nose spray that will shrink down the nose, but only for three days. Don't get hooked on that kind of nasal spray. Simple salt water irrigation, simply tincture of time. But if it gets to be too much pressure, you'll get an ear ache and can get infection there. You may have to see an ear doctor. They could even have to put tubes in your ears. If that persists, if that popping noise or that pressure in your ear persists, persists you need to see an ear, nose, and throat doctor. Uh, good luck on that.